Hello guys, nice to see you again. I've been away for a while. I have been working on an epic video that has taken me a very long time. My beloved Witcher 3 is having its throne contested by a fantastic new game from Guerrilla Studios and I never thought that something would come as close to the epic piece of work that is The Witcher 3. But I've done a lot of research, I've done a lot of gameplay, I've done a lot of looking, a lot of comparisons. Uh, I, I really think that The Witcher has a new con tender. It is of course Horizon Zero Dawn and uh, I want to talk a little bit about the start of this game and uh, how sort of intuitive the tutorial is and, and the opening of the game itself and what we're going to cover in the first section is the worlds uh, and the stories uh, and the sort of world building and environments that, that these two games pit themselves in. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn's got this very cool coming of age front end story to it and it, it does very well to introduce you to the game's mechanics without sort of being to patronizing and one of the first things you'll notice Aloy, is how gorgeous down. this Gather world looks this is not PS Pro footage but it still holds good. up really well there's I'll some the very best. good effects here on distance and mists and yeah. all these blades of grass are absolutely they beautiful may taste bitter, but they could save your life always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries flowers if you want to talk about gorgeous worlds and great graphics, then you don't really get much better than The Witcher 3. It stood head and shoulders above everything else on the open world game series for a very long time. CD Projekt Red have got this doggedness when it comes to creating an immersive and beautiful environment. The palettes and the way the colors look turns this game into an almost moving painting. It's absolutely stunning and it always has been. It does very well on stuff like weather effects and winds uh, effect on, on the environment itself. It, it has a very turbulent weather system, anything ranging from uh, beautiful blissful sunshine to, as you can see here, sort of drizzly, uh, slightly uh, rainy atmospheres. Horizon Zero Dawn actually does this very well also. There's a really good mist engine in here. It actually creates a very short draw distance, but it doesn't make you feel like it's um, you know, impinging. Uh, the, the wind and the rain, it feels great. Uh, just look at it whipping off Aloy here as she's bending over a horse to avoid it. The sunshine and the sort of detail in the distance on, on these games is, is, is phenomenal. As you can see, you, have, you both have mounts um, and they both really have so much similarity. Extra kudos here for this classic lightning. Let's move on to some sort of slightly more granular stuff. And uh, as you know, I, I'm a bit obsessed with, with in-game water. Um, I am sl slightly disappointed with Horizon's um, water physics and, and, and sort of splash mechanics. It, as you can see here, there's not really too much going on. But there's some great reflections here. Um, the, the game doesn't you know, march around saying that it's got great water. But it's, it's nice to have some sort of trails or some sort of ripples. But I mean, it, it's workable. Back to the master here, and, and, and holy crap, just look at what the movement that's going on around Geralt here. Just look at the, the effect that his body has within the water itself. Um, it really is a, a winner on that area. So onto the world building itself, and, and Horizon Zero Dawn excels in, in this area. What, what, what it's created is, this, is a beautiful overgrown, sort of lost humanity, uh, apocalyptic, quite lonesome um, environment. It, 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 it does that incredibly. It's, a, it's very peaceful, uh, at the same time extremely interesting. When we talk about The Witcher 3, this game it sort of competes on a different level. I mean, it, it, it's a medieval world with with vastly populated towns and you know a lot going on with the uh, non-playable characters, etc. Um, the architecture and, and some of the nods towards um, sort of the the olden days, if you like, uh, are incredible. 
Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't really attempt to compete with this. It doesn't need to. It, it, it's in populated environments uh, and villages all, all have a sort of set theme. It's a it's a tribal thing here. It's all very wood based. Uh, it, it, it it does carry that very well. Things are quite uh, desolate and desperate in, in the Horizon Zero Dawn world, and and that's something I want to cover. Is that it, it does achieve this fantastic apocalypse where humanity is 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 really drawn back and and nature is really sort of taken over. Um, it the, the, the game does wash over you with this beautiful, peaceful desolateness. You post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slain. You interested? So on to characters and story, and The Witcher falls back on a series a of novels. This is an area that, that The Witcher is, is kind of very like experienced in. It. And this is a series, remember. Horizon Zero Dawn is a, is a first uh, in, in, in hopefully a long line of games. But the, the, the animations are fantastic. Um, the story in this game has always shone through. Um, there's a really clever uh, main questing line, and there's also uh, a very clever branching system with a lot of the smaller quests and sub-quests that appear. Um, this is a really tough one actually um, because the story for Horizon and The Witcher both intrigue me uh, sort of equally. Avenge them, Witcher. Kill the beast, please. I have nothing to pay you with. But Mikkel, the one who brought us here, his brother's got coin, he'll reward you. Look for him at the inn at the crossroads. That's better. Now tell me. What's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things. People. Horizon's character modeling is also very good. The voiceovers are great. The voice acting is awesome. Um, there is one thing that needs to be said here, and the, it's. I read a review about this game the other day, and the guy described the story as a mix of Lost and the Bible. Can you believe that? And I was like knocked back, thinking, actually, it's. It, he's got a point. This was. This deals with some huge issues. Religion being one of them. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. The story in Horizon Zero Dawn is actually that twisty and that good that I can barely show you anything out of the first quarter of the game because some it really it kicks off and then it kicks off again. You've got this great layered, um, intriguing level of secrets that that you're gradually unfolding in, and it really pulls you through by the by the hair, literally through through the game itself. So I wanted just to take a quick minute to talk about sort of questing systems and particularly subquests and particularly the contracts in in in, in The Witcher. And um, I fired up The Witcher to get footage for this um, comparison video actually. And there was a monster contract that, that I actually hadn't hadn't done. And I was like, okay, wicked. I'll I'll pop I'll, I'll pop that on and, and see how we get on. I got drawn into this cave as you can see. I I actually had to go underwater. Um, you know, I, I popped up in this what, what I can only describe is is kind of like a like like a hive and uh, there's these egg sacs in there I'm I'm doing this whole sort of detective mode thing that's something I'll get onto both Mesh, games have this sort of special juices. vision um, that, that's young. quite parallel to be honest but it, I wanted to hit on the point that um, wow it was it Excellent. was really it was a real rabbit hole that, that, a lot of people say that about the Witcher 3 it's just this huge rabbit hole where you end up going further and further in to these awesome quests that must have taken so long to put together they're, they're in different environments unique environments and they give you uh, unique enemies and they'll give you unique loot um, it's, it's amazing a shoe bearing master clogs mark all that's left of the body Ericus, a venomous one Sort of back to the unique uh, loot point as well. Um, there's a lot of sort of treasure and quests related to unique items in The Witcher. That's what I love about it is that it's not a grind. It's not like Destiny. If if you do a hard quest or put the work in or use your brain, you get rewarded for it. There, a bucket. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? 
So Horizon's main character, Aloy, also has a sort of Witcher Vision equivalent, which allows her to sort of track paths and it allows you to tag enemies and to look and see the route of an enemy or where it's going. Um, now, subquests and sort of side quests uh, are here in abundance in this game, and I was thoroughly impressed with them, to be honest with you. They are in the form of errands and sort of uh, side missions, etc., and they're very good. They're, they're very detailed and they run in the story canon um, in, in in a way that, that, that gives you just a little, little more nugget uh, of information and uh, or, or even a little bit of backstory about a character etc Alright, so let's get to the interesting stuff. Let's talk about the monsters and all the stuff that's kicking off in The Witcher 3. We've got different enemy types in abundance in this game. They range from arachnids to the actual animals uh, to witches, ghosts, wraiths. Uh, it, it, everything is in here from a sort of Tolkien-like universe. It, 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 it's awesome and the, the woods are just full of scary stuff. They all have their sort of strange nuances when it comes to combat. Um, you can get attacked in groups, you can get attacked by humans. These are actually quite difficult. They, they re require some sort of counter to get past their shields etc. They've all got their own rank. You've got humanoid like scary uh, hags that are sort of water based that come at you with god knows what you can actually pull the tongues out of these things the witcher really delivers on the coolest monsters it's time to make your first kill anyway strider one of the weaker machines but even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. The study Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. So I think we're up to one of Horizon Zero Dawn's strongest points here, and it's the monsters in this game are freaking awesome. If you're not aware, they're like autonomous animals, almost lizard-like. They sort of resemble normal animals, but they're far tougher and more aggressive, and they're completely AI-controlled. It's, it's such a cool sensation fighting these things. They come in so many shapes and sizes, and they're genuinely really frightening. They are beast-like. Some of them are flying. They're absolutely huge. Some of them are aggressive. Some of them are passive. There's monstrous ones that you actually climb and scale to to get views of uh, of the map, almost like a tower, like you would have in Assassin's Creed or any other bloody Ubisoft game. But uh, I, I want to hit on this, and and there's there's two main prongs for for why I think Horizon Zero Dawn can contend with The Witcher, and one of them is the the in-game uh, creatures and monsters are, are, are just so good. You can almost see the developers have got this kill zone like uh, influence with them it's weird that, that I love looking at the detail on them the way they're put together the way they have their own ecosystem you see these guys are sort of like drilling or eating almost with their antlers they have sort of searchers looking around guarding the herd etc and another really cool addition is that you can actually take over the monsters with a, a, an AI device that, that, that actually controls them it's a it's a great idea the monster then actually fights on, on your behalf and and it gave me a chance to really look look at some of this beautiful detail that they've put in these things. It's like Boston Dynamics on, on roids. It's, it, it's awesome. I, I, I love this section of the game to bits. Okay, so let's talk about The Witcher 3's combat, and it's surprisingly deep for a game of its magnitude. You've only got to look at other open world games of the genre like Skyrim to realise that if, you know, the combat can lack lustre sometimes, but The Witcher seems for me to be kind of a combination of Dark Souls and Monster Hunter. I know that's a bit of a crazy uh, combination, but you've got your roll and avoid, you've got your hard and quick uh, attacks, um, and you've also got your magic wheel, which, which gives you some uh, a small piece of range, you have your crossbow as well. 
I, I thoroughly enjoy the, the combat aspect of, of The Witcher. I, I, I think it's as a standalone element to a, an incredibly rich game, it holds up very well. It's You don't feel too overwhelmed when you have groups of enemies around you. It, it, you, you just manage, you know, it's one of those things that you become quite adaptive to. It's uh, it, it, it looks cool and uh, it, it, it's quite easy to get the head round, but difficult to master. I think I've said that before. It's pretty damn gory as well and uh, it, it's a very strong aspect to uh, a, a, an extremely cool game. Um, the combat could have been a lot worse. So it's the second prong of attack in Horizon Zero Dawn's armory against The Witcher 3 and it is of course the phenomenal combat system in this game. It hinges upon innovative weapons, fantastic enemy AI and a massive variety in attack pattern on the stuff that you're fighting. These things are awesome, they are intelligent, they are ruthless, they are mean, it's hard, you have to think, you can't track an enemy in regards to locking onto it, you have to have your wits about you the whole time. There's a really smart a slowdown mechanic that's opened up very early on in the game, it's a very good idea that developers put that in actually, it allows you a little bit of, uh, of thinking time when aiming, but this whole dodge, roll, avoid, uh, counter attack, there's also melee in there, it, 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 it totally shines. Um, the monsters themselves are so daunting. If, if you look on them, you can see they have these vulnerable patches on them. Different monsters have different sections that you can shoot for maximum of damage or cause some sort of chain reaction. There's also different element types with freezing, electricity and fire. And this game just, just keeps on giving for me with the combat. I, it, it definitely beats The Witcher on this front. So very quickly I want to talk about UI and upgrades and different runes etc and armor that you receive in The Witcher 3. This area is totally full of that RPG stuff that we all know and love. There's a really detailed beastery, there's information about monsters and what they're weak against, brilliant ideas in here and some phenomenal looking armor. Um, we do have a little less in uh, Horizon. There is some cool armor, they come with their stats, you need to collect particular rare items to make them, but there's just not that mix and match variety that you see with the Witcher, and the same kind of applies with the weapons. But the weapons are far more interesting, they're more uh, you know, out of the box when, when it comes to um, usage and sort of wear and tear etc. I think I'm going to get to my closing comments on this and I'm and I'm going to say that if you're looking for a, a, a fast paced beautiful open world set in a dystopian future that excels on combat and, and a lot of fun then go for Horizon. But I think we all know this and, and I'm going to say this now that The Witcher is, is one of the best games ever made. It's a bit like that grisly old man strength you know it, it, it's not going to be toppled for a long time and I, I think if you're into the witcher then horizon is a complete no-brainer um i hope you enjoyed that guys um love you and leave you take care